Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market prep video for February 10th, 2021. Well, it's hump day, a very, very chilly hump day across most of the country here this morning. Be careful out there not to freeze your hump off as this cold snap um, kind of grips a good portion of the country. Yesterday we saw that the bulls needed to take a little bit of a hi hiatus. We just rested a little bit yesterday, snapping a six-day winning streak, but it really wasn't bad at all. The bears seem to have gone back into hibernation. They had they showed no teeth at all yesterday. So we're in pretty good shape overall. So how about we settle into our office chairs, grab ourselves something to drink, and let's get ready for the hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. You know, this morning as we look at these um, indexes, there really isn't a whole lot here to um, sh to be concerned about when we look at these trends. The bulls recovered these trends very, very strongly. And look, um, the trends have resumed to the upside. And as Congress moves forward, the House today is moving forward, trying to pass um, the 1.9 trillion stimulus bill with uh, with that um, aroma of freshly printed money just around the corner, it would seem unlikely at this point that the uh, bears are going to wake up anytime soon. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, we may not be able to stretch the market a whole lot higher, but boy, I'll tell you, this market loves freshly printed debt. It, it just can't get enough of it. And so I expect um, once we kind of um, get through um, this co congressional process and get it passed, there's going to be um, some more upside coming in the market. Let's take a look um, right in here. Now, it is possible that we are pricing in pricing in that um, stimulus bill before it passes. And, and it is possible that after the passage, we could the next day see selling in the market. So we may be pricing it in. It could be buy the rumor, sell the news kind of event. But so far, when we look at these indexes, they are very bullish. So we have an upside trend. We have some price support. So even if we get some pullback in the market. Notice we could pull back into here with no harm, no foul. And we could even pull back into this area and still be holding on to that upside trend. So keep a close eye on that. We're pretty darn bullish here in the chart and the bears just don't seem to have anything to say at all. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also very, very bullish, continuing to push to, on that upside move. And this morning, even though um, Asia markets were very flat last night. They did produce, um, um, you know, a green close kind of across the board, but they were pretty darn muted last night. And European stocks are flat and mixed. Here, U.S. futures with the smell of that new money on the way just can't do anything but push higher. And we've got futures pointing to a bullish open this morning. So take a look. Um, we're pushing through here, um, pushing through those resistance areas, holding up very, very, very well. And just keep in mind that if we do pull back at all, we have some support underneath these prices where we could keep moving up. Now, I honestly believe that the markets are very overextended in the short term. But remember, as traders, our job is to trade the charts, not to decide um, uh, or try to predict when um, the market will change. Um, our job is to trade the charts. And we can have a market stay um, you guys have all heard the old the old statement, markets can stay irrational much longer than you can stay liquid. And that really seems to be the case right now. It is a chase of everything in the market right now. As soon as you get a stock that starts to move, it's a pile on. And then we stretch that stock out to an, a, an unbelievable place, um, a very risky place, as a matter of fact. 
But as that continues, we have to stay with that trend, continue to make money with that trend because we don't know when it's going to end. And keep in mind, this could go on for uh, weeks. This could go on for months as we continue to bolster the market with debt spending. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. Stay with the trend of the market until that um, until we see clues of that tr uh, trend change. And I will certainly be here to try to warn you of that when that starts coming around. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ, also extremely bullish. Now we had some back and forth in some of those big techs yesterday, but very, very bullish overall in the chart, pushing up. You can see we're extending this move to the upside we're stretching it out here today this is the pre-market candle i wouldn't rule out the possibility that um, we get a pullback here at any time but if that pullback does occur notice we're above our trend we've got some price support in here that could hold us in that chart so so far not a particular worry even if we do get a pullback Unless we had some kind of market changing news, um, all of a sudden the house says, oh, well, we fooled you, we're not gonna pass a stimulus bill. Then we might have a major sell off, but I think um, all signs are showing that even without any Republican support, they're gonna push this thing through. Um, so uh, money is on the way and the market loves that freshly printed money. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM continues to stretch out. Now, one thing we'll want to pay attention here today with IWM is we have a petroleum status report. And it's been largely moving up with the support of financials and energy stocks. But as we see, you know, these fuel prices starting to go up and things like that, we'll want to keep an eye on this. We could run into a little bit of a problem here eventually and see a little bit of profit taking in those um, in those sectors, so watch that closely. But notice that we have a, a good strong trend and we have room for a pullback before we even come close to breaking down with some support down in here. Um, we certainly have plenty of, of pullback room before um, we really start to uh, crack this trend. So no big worries here, at least yet on that chart. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX continues to remain a bit of a perplexing thing to me. Um, it is, uh, as someone mentioned in the uh, in the e-learning class I did last night, it's kind of the new normal, I guess. We're, we're maintaining a relatively high VIX, holding up here in above 20 handles. And notice yesterday we tried to climb back up at the end of the day and our VIX, um, our VIX was doing a little bit of pushing back up as well. So we, we can't seem to break down below this level, at least yet, but perhaps maybe soon um, we have enough energy to push that, uh, push that down through that level and really start cleaning up the fear that we see here in the market. But so far, um, it's not there. And with a volatility um, um, in there around 20 handles, we have to be prepared for that possibility that if the market shifts, it could move very quickly. So just always keep in mind that we have to be prepared. Stick with your plan. Stay with the trend, but stick with your plan. Don't over trade. Don't chase overly extended stocks. And please, please remember to take profits. You know, one of the things that harms a lot of traders that I work with in, in individual coaching is this idea that we have to time the perfect entry and the perfect exit to be good traders. And that's just not true. Remember, when we take profits, even small profits, that's a win in the column. And our job in trading is to grow our accounts, not to have the perfect exit not to have the perfect entry. Our job is to make money. So remember, if you wanna be a consistently profitable trader, we have to learn to take profits consistently. And when we see a market in kind of a stretch condition, it gives us those clues that we need to be taking profits a little bit quicker, bagging some of those gains in case the market does shift and roll over. So consider that, consider how much risk you carry into a close and remember, 
taking some profits puts a win in your column, puts money in your account, and that money is not yours until you take that profit. And with volatility holding up and our markets appearing, our indexes kind of stretched out, it's a good time to be considering those things and taking some of those profits. So there you go, mini coaching session right here this morning. Let's take a look at, um, our T2122. T2122 is, is the end indicator that's giving me a little bit of heartburn and continues to um, show us a short-term overbought condition. So we're up here very, very elevated. And this morning we're looking at our futures trying to press that even higher. So watch that pretty closely. We could reach that point where we've kind of exhausted that upside move for just a little bit and sellers come in. And what I'm trying to say is don't chase this morning over open. Watch real carefully. Make sure the stocks that you're trading, you're buying them at or near price support levels with a good controlled risk. And then if they're moving, if, if we prove to hold that and the market continues to extend on up, trade those trades. Those can be really great trades, but be careful chasing things that have already pushed up pretty significantly right at the open because we could get, at any point in time, we could see that pop and drop. We get a gap up and then the market sells off. So be careful chasing. Watch that closely because we do have a very big open position here for a potential move to the downside. Now, I'm not going to suggest that the market market is going to swing all the way back down to the lows. But a rest or pullback, because of the large point moves that the market can make, um, it can still be kind of painful. So make sure you're planning your trades carefully and um, playing um, within a set of rules. Let's take a look at T2101. Now, I'm really worried about market breadth here just a little bit. As we push up into uh, this downtrend, yesterday we tried to break through. Now, I think that was a good thing that we're seeing that buying wave actually bringing in market breadth. But um, I am concerned with this downtrend channel that we may be a little bit elevated here and that possibility that we kind of exhaust this buy wave here at any point in time and then we catch that profit taking pullback. So I don't think it's going to break us down or anything, but just to be careful not to chase um, into stocks. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. In our economic calendar, we've got a couple things that we're going to want to pay attention to this morning. Um, we've we've had a very light economic calendar week so far and it's going to continue to be relatively light but we have a couple of those things that could move us around today first off we've got a cpi report now cpi we could actually see um cpi um increase a little bit um uh, and, and that because of the cost of um, energy, oil's moving up. So we could actually see some of these costs starting to move up and a little bit of inflation starting to show itself um, in the market. So watch that carefully if that begins to occur. And then we have that petroleum status report that could also um, have quite a little bit of inspiration on those oil sector stocks um, today. Watch that carefully. If we have a continue to see a decline in supplies, that could certainly bolster those stocks higher. If we if we happen to catch a surprise build in um, in that, showing that demand might be dropping a little bit because of that rising prices, we could see um, we could see that. Um, harm that oil sector just a little bit. So watch that closely. And then keep in mind, we have the Fed chair out here speaking today. It, I, I don't know that we're going to learn anything. In fact, I would not expect us to learn anything. But every time Mr. Powell speaks, the market listens and can move around if he does happen to say something that the market does not expect. So watch that closely. And then later today, we have the Treasury statement. Um, I don't think that matters anymore. The market doesn't seem to care about debt or the fact that we have um, just massively increased our debt. Nobody seems to care about that. So I don't think that one will probably have any effect. Also keep in mind that tomorrow morning uh, before the market open, we also have that jobless claims number. That That's something that can move the market around and we'll want to pay attention to that as we kind of plan our risk forward heading into Thursday. Now, by the way, guys, I want to remind everyone that um, we have Monday, 
Monday is off. The Monday is closed for President's Day. So we want to plan our risk carefully with that. With a three-day weekend coming up, we want to think about that heading into that long weekend. Monday will be closed. Right way options will be closed. So keep that in mind. Think about that risk and whether or not you want to tuck away some extra profits heading into that long weekend. So just something to think about and pay attention to. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar today. Now our earnings calendar is a pretty busy one today. We've got just under a hundred companies. Re whoops, clicked on the blog there. Um, just under a hundred companies reporting. And we'll want to pay attention to quite a few of these um, that could move the market around a little bit. This morning, we've got General Motors. General Motors reporting their earnings. It looks like so far today, um, the pre-market candle is showing a little bit of a pop and drop here on that number. So watch that carefully. Please keep in mind that that would, if we had a candle pattern like that show up at the top here, that's a little bit of a, a, um, of a hint of a possible double top. So watch that carefully on GM as it reports today. Um, Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola reporting today and uh, blew away estimates. So Coke starting to perk back up here. Certainly not um, a bullish chart here overall. We're just pressing back up into resistance, but something to pay attention to. We've got um, MGM going to report today. Keep an eye on MGM. This has been rallying big time, and we've been seeing a lot of this um, heading into earnings, just a pile on to head into earnings. Um, that makes it kind of a dangerous trade to, to be involved in, but we've been seeing a lot of that here recently. So kind of keep an eye on that um, as that reports. We're going to hear from the CME today. The CME will be reporting. Keep an eye on that one. Um, we have um, an airline out there. Save Spirit Airlines will be re reporting today. Um, watch that. We have Uber. Whoops. Uber reporting today. Looks like it's gapping up this morning. Everyone seems to be happy with that one. Um, so watch that closely. And UAA, a little bit of retail in there. Looks like UAA finding some love here this morning perking on up. So quite a few things to be paying attention to, quite a few stocks. So watch those pretty closely. Um, a lot of volatility can be created around these earnings. So be prepared for that. And um, if you want to see the full list of stocks um, that I've kind of pulled out as notable, make sure you click that link just before below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog and you can catch that full list of notables. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading. And if this is the first time you've ever seen these videos, um, if you could do me a favor, click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And remember, the purpose of these videos is not to provide you with hype or drama or all of that. It's really to look at the technicals of the chart. It's really to focus in on what could affect the market for the day and help um, help everyone, um, including myself. By the way, I have done this for years and years and years. Help me to um, um, decide how I want to prepare for the day. Okay, without all of the influence of all the drama that we see in the news cycle. So um, if you find that helpful, please click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. It helps us continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you so much for everyone who does do that. Also, please feel free to share these videos out there on your social media platforms. Let's take a look at some stock setting up and I'm running out of time here. So I'm going to go pretty quickly this morning. Stocks that could be setting up, we'll want to pay attention to closely. As you guys know, I have been mentioning solo here as a possible trade. And we can see yesterday it kind of perked. We uh, pulled back. We um, engaged this trend and we kind of perked up and we might be getting a little bit of a rest today, but watch that closely. See if that can follow through and pop on up. Um, could be a pretty interesting chart today. Keep a close eye on it. Um, in that same sector, NIO made a move yesterday and I've been watching this chart. You can see we broke that downtrend here. We've been consolidating this price support up here. We've kind of re-engaged on um, this little upside. Whoops. 
didn't want to grab that line. Let me grab this one. Kind of re-engaged on this upside trend here, trying to perk on through. So watch that. Now, don't be too surprised after breaking the downtrend. If we need a little rest or pullback consolidation to prove this area of support. But let's watch that for that next upside opportunity here in the chart. It's looking pretty darn good. Um, pretty good looking chart overall. Let's keep an eye on stocks like RIG. Now RIG has been setting up here. Notice that we have been drifting sideways, heading over here toward that trend. Keep a close eye on that if we can engage. And today we get that oil sector report. Um, we might get that bullish move that could pop, pop us out, but don't rule out the possibility if we get a bearish report that we break that trend and break down. So got to stay on your toes on this keep a close eye on it kind of an interesting chart to pay attention to might want to take a look at generac generac has had a pretty good move up notice we i had an alert here on the chart we're moving up and if I draw a trend line up here, notice this little pullback or consolidation here in the chart as we deal with this high. Could be nothing more than a rest. And if we can re-engage on this move, re-engage in that trend, that possibility of popping on through there could be of interest. Now, that being said, we also have that possibility that we fail at this high that could create that double top high breaking that trend. So watch that closely. Again, one of those charts that could go either direction. Let's take a look at BABA. BABA has been trying, 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 and we've got a big area of price resistance here. And notice that we broke the downtrend in the chart and BABA has proven some support in here. We're trying to lift up out of that. Now, yesterday we just were hinting at it, trying to get through, and this morning we are trying to pop through there. So keep a close eye on that. BABA could be setting back up for that upside move. Might wanna keep an eye on it. Um, as you guys know, I've been mentioning STX here for a while. That has been very, very bullish. Watch for this resting pullback. We've got kind of an evening star type pattern here. Watch for a pullback in here and don't be too surprised if it pulls back a little bit strongly and maybe have to drift out here toward the trend. But watch that closely. This could still be in that setup mode. We wanna keep an eye on it. NNDM is one you guys know I've been talking about for a while. Um, that finally has made some move popping up. Now I, by the way, own this. And so I've got a little bit of bias on this, but it's looking really good at the moment, trying to push on up. Let's see if that can just can extend break through that resistance up there and continue to resume this upside move, um, in this beautiful upside trend, very concise, deliberate price action here. I like that kind of chart. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Wish you great profits in your trading. Um, I will see you right back here bright and early, bright and early Thursday morning. And remember, we have a three-day weekend coming up. Hoo-ah. Hoo-ah. So be careful out there. Be safe. Stay warm. And we'll see you tomorrow morning. Thanks for watching, everyone.